Hi, I'm Amber Vixen. I'm a 22 year old. My name is Amber Vixen. I'm 22 years old and I'm living in the outskirts of Texas. Fuck. Can't even press charges. <laughs> no. You can't even press charges. <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened to me. It is my choice to be a prostitute. This is my body and I do things clean. Why should the law tell me what I can and cannot do with my body? <laughs> Welcome to my place. I'm Miss Verda. So, Miss Berta, how much money did you make tonight? Um, I don't want to disclose that information. What made you become, I'm not filming your face at all. <laughs> Action. Girls. Amber. <laughs> Action. Amber is dead because the police and the hospital did not care about her because of her career choice. She had a small laceration on her spleen that caused her to bleed out internally. Eternally. Eternally. <laughs> <laughs> My viewer eternal death. <laughs> <laughs> Have drinks with us and then decide if they want to take home. It'll be five dollars. <laughs> Damn, he cheated. Drive your car. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? <laughs> what is that? Nope. <laughs> Making of. Woo, woo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Taylor. Smile for the camera. <laughs> <that you're> <laughs> like this is. The, are you filming? <laughs> this is the making of our movie. We're very dedicated. Always. <laughs> oh god. It's a great night to make money because some things they asked us to do oh, cost more fortune. than the original oh, five hundred. Do you hear your line? Oh. A great night to make money because some things they asked us to do cost more than the original 500. Just regular customers who are mostly businessmen from Dallas. And then you say, the men will have drinks with us, then choose the who? Name. No, oh. Gloria. She said, the men will have drinks with us. Stacy, <laughs> And you are the revolutionaries. Because you understand that unlike football or basketball, politics is not a spectator sport. So let me, let me tell you a secret that many others will not. You are all, each and every one of you, powerful people if you choose to exercise that power. The fight, the fight that we are waging is not an easy fight. But I know you are prepared to wage that fight against the 1%, against the billionaire class. And against a small number of people with incredible wealth and incredible power who control our economic life, our political life, and our media life. When we began this campaign just about a year ago, we started with no political organization, we started with no money, and we had no name recognition outside of Vermont. <laughs> 